Hi, good morning student. So, uh, we are going to continue back our lesson and uh, previously we talked about alloy. Okay, we talked about element and alloy. Yes, in case you uh, just mark, just let me take my pen and write. Okay, we already learned in periodic table there are element. Element like maybe iron, gold, and so on. And in the element, there are a few elements like iron, carbon, tin, copper, um, antimony, mag magnesium, manganese. So by mixing this element, we can form alloy, which is more, why we need alloy, which is more, maybe more stronger, more beautiful, can make coin more uh, usually resistant to rust, lighter, stronger, so that it can make aeroplane and so on. So why is it stronger? Because of it got the um, other atom, not pure metal but other atom that add on it. So they all add on it so the atom are difficult to slide so the keyword is difficult to slide okay let's say they say why alloy is stronger because it got foreign atom that help the atom not to slide again one another but of course alloy is sometimes more expensive for example like bronze and uh, duralumin is expensive as well or pewter I think steel is the cheaper one uh, because it's, you need to use a lot of energy. I don't know like, how they do. Maybe they need to use a lot of fire. They need to use a lot of electric and, and very difficult to mix the metal together. So sometimes it becomes very expensive. Like the, the coin. I mean the coin is not really expensive but but it still got value like uh, one ringgit. Not like you take a screwdriver. The, it still matter, but it don't have the value like the coin so the coin show the value but nowadays we can see the coin getting smaller and smaller right last time the 50 cent is very big the one ringgit also is like very heavy because it got more uh, value and because of inflation uh, because you know inflation every day the thing become more expensive though so the value of one ringgit actually drop so next so nowadays for example we use one ringgit to buy uh, I don't know buy drink so next time become 120 160 I remember last time I buy drink Chinese tea is only 20 cent during my time lah my time during is my time drink Chinese tea is 20 cent after that is 30 cent 40 cent 50 cents now I'm at Seremban I buy Chinese tea also 60 cent sometimes 70 cent so so the value drop so of course the value drop doesn't mean that you should save money yes you should save money um, but but don't save too much money in the bank lah, because if you save too much money in the bank then the money also will drop so you need to think of other things anyway so this is the sign class so in case you want to save more money you need to go to youtube but you're still young lah, so you can only save money in the bank but when you grow up make sure you don't save too much money in the bank because the money value will drop then you got also lesser money left next time okay so the user alloy of course uh, we want to make uh, this one i think is like k byte question you think by yourself lah. of course if you want to use steel you can make building aeroplane you use duralumin you want to build aeroplane it's very light or titanium that's why i like the spectacle by titanium which very light and strong that's why the spectacle is 1000 or I think two things are very light and strong on it, either titanium or carbon fiber. So you can choose one. The uh, the the what the car also the same right car and also car also got carbon fiber and the uh, bicycle titanium and carbon fiber which is more expensive thousand plus okay maybe ten thousand for the bicycle. Musical instrument, okay, the brass which is very shiny and resistant to corrosion. Superconductor alloy. So what do you mean by superconductor alloy? I use 
for to prevent friction between the track body of the train this allow the train to move at high speed so this is superconductor so of course for superconductor we can see that it actually means it can uh, transmit the electric at high power station so instead of using like normal wire that we use it actually use superconductor so the electric can go into the train because the train need to go very far okay so when the train need to go very far you need to give the train the electric but when the train go very far it's very difficult to give electric because they are uh, resistant this one maybe from far we will learn is it every wire that got resistant the further away the the wire will be further let's say lah let's say this is the this is the my phone charger wire which if i charge my phone at here then i got no problem but if i make this wire very 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 long until a few kilometer and if i charge my phone will my phone still able to charge let's say i extend this wire to two kilometer then i charge my phone can i still charge my phone cannot okay obviously cannot because uh if can then you book it four kilometer uh, cannot okay so it it cannot uh due to they are resistant the the, the formula is the long if the if the cable is longer it's a hypothesis lah. if the cable is increased so the resistance will increase so so this is a problem for the train they find that's why they use super alloy conductor that almost uh, almost conduct the electric 100% with zero resistance they say lah, I also don't know how they do but they say lah, they say they can conduct the electric almost zero resistance so no matter how far you go you still got the the train yep so i like the train very much now that the china got a train that use my neck to lift the train up to reduce the friction so that the train can move uh, at high speed and then now the elon musk got do a train that he he put a tunnel and then he put this vacuum so so when the train move it will be super super i think it will be moving like a speed of a plane because it will be super fast because this thing is a vacuum but they put in the tunnel lah. so because there's no wind so the train will move very 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 fast so elon musk is doing hopefully uh i think it's your generation lah. Maybe I cannot see this in Malaysia. Maybe in the future you will see this in Malaysia, and you can travel from Penang to KL in or Penang to Seremban maybe in one hour or two hour when this thing is completed in Malaysia. I don't know lah. Maybe your son or your children will see this. Several type of metal non-element conducting added to make superconductor alloy. Oh, uh, this one already got see. I I go and search electric at high efficiency without uh, yeah this book is is it good like without resistance uh, is it a good word um i think the better word with almost zero resistance uh, huh? i think the better word should be almost zero resistance because it's not good to say uh without resistance how can you do without and then i put it in a million kilometer will it be without resistance no right still got a little bit so maybe here the words need to change a bit electric at high efficiency with almost with almost no resistance now uh, that it will be a better word if not you can google and try to search it a superconductor is also able to resist magnetic field causing the superconductor material to float when is placed on the magnet yeah so there are two things there are two definitions that's why i sometimes i, I confuse just now superconductor there are two functions okay one is to transmit at high speed and another one is to cause it to float like a magnet so you can also use superconductor to make a magnet but this magnet is not a normal magnet this magnet is a very 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 strong magnet 
strong until like if you put your hand the magnet is this big you put your hand it will crush your bone crack your bone will crack but you, you still have your hand uh, if the magnet is this big if if bigger than the, the hand will disappear so this is the superconductor reasoning of MRI man magnetic okay so this is the hospital use one hopefully not lah uh, hopefully you did will not use this machine this machine is a uh, called MRI machine the best scanning machine so far available in human history for now uh, if you got cancer or you got blood problem brain problem what or the or the neuron problem because x-ray you cannot scan neuron uh, so you need to go inside then this thing will scan everything including your blood and your neuron this thing costs million so one time you go in maybe around i don't know five thousand or ten thousand because this machine is very expensive so hopefully you no need to use this uh, machine uh. and it's not healthy but you go one time never mind uh, huh? go many times then it's not healthy because it it use the like <coughs> laser particle is it laser uh? maybe the radiation uh, the radiation is not healthy so to to detect your body okay uh, let's see this one give two example of alloy containing copper metal contain copper metal let's go up so let's erase this which one contain copper metal god can find can you get the answer yes what is it um lumin and and brass brass okay so um there are a few ones so we can see here got copper so we can say duralumin uh we got copper we got bronze and we also got uh where oh this one copper 75 percent copper which is the brass very good page 195 can i like go faster to the page number hey where is my page number uh? let me press this one okay. okay okay number two draw the arrangement of atom alloy and pure matter then relate the arrangement of atom to the properties of pure matter so this one is um, two questions correct or not the first question they ask you draw the arrangement of atom in alloy and pure metal that is the first this is when we read we read carefully yeah. this is like one a question so i just put a then relate the arrangement to the pure properties of pure metal relate the arrangement of the atom to the property so what does it mean relate huh? um, uh, I think most students will not get this lah, but that's why I, that's why to think critically is important. Talk to people and read book, and we need to read the question properly. Draw the arrangement of alloy and pure metal, which I think you guys got no problem. Relate the arrangement of the atom to the property of pure metal. So this is the second question. So you need to relate it. So basically, you need to explain. I don't know why they didn't say explain that they say relate the arrangement of atom to the pure matter so you need to explain the why explain anything like i just explain why alloy maybe is stronger with the arrangement in regards to the arrangement of the the atom and pure matter after you draw you need to explain about the arrangement of the atom so basically we need to draw very fast on it so for atom yeah i have white space so i draw it here lah, huh? maybe so maybe i put here atom this one i put here eh, atom black i put here for example alloy i do the first question first draw the alloy and pure metal so this one i draw pure metal okay how to draw of course you draw nicely lah, huh? i cannot draw so this is the box you need to draw nicely oh my goodness it is so difficult for me to draw it here 
No, draw big a bit lah. Huh? Draw big a bit. Then you can get. I, I, even though I draw not nice, but you need to draw it nicely, okay? If not, you won't get any mark. So, so, yeah, I tell you first, uh, you need to draw nice. You, you, uh, what, sometimes when students do wrong, students usually do wrong, some, some teacher they won't accept like this. You draw half, and then you do like this, then you draw half, then you draw half again. So some teacher do not accept this. So do not draw the atom half, like semi, semi, how to say, uh, semi-circular. It must be round, round, one. I, I'm, I like to draw big a bit. Like usually students draw very small. Then they, they waste a lot of time drawing the very small. So the first thing when you draw, very important, uh, not, not like I tell for fun, uh, because sometimes students do wrong. When you draw, you draw it big. Usually for alloy, I think draw either 12 or 9 enough already. No need to draw too many circles. Then you got no time to do. Draw draw 9 enough already. So I draw big. Make sure it... Uh, now I'm like teaching art class. Make sure it is touched properly. Must touch, huh? So just let me draw 9 dot properly. Ah, yeah. Never mind, huh? 1 dot, 2 dot, 3 dot. Touch the line. Touch the line, this one, touch the line, it must touch the line because it's alloy. Ah oh yeah, this one didn't touch the line. Touch the line, touch the line, this one, touch the line. Can I have? 9 or 12 should be alright. Then I draw the box. You don't want to draw the box, I also can, but never mind. I draw the box. Touch the line, draw nicely. Touch the line, draw the circle, touch the line. Yes, very good. Whew. Can I copy this one to here? Okay, how about pure metal? Okay, so I already draw alloy, which is actually the same thing. How to draw pure metal? So let me draw the pure metal. So maybe I draw again the same thing. Touch the line, touch the line, touch the line. Aya. Aya, never mind lah. Huh? You aga aga lah, huh? because later I you all fall asleep when you watch this video. I, I just try my best to draw that so that student can understand. Okay, but of course they ask, this is a uh, pure metal, so I need to put foreign atom. So maybe I put yellow lah. I put a... Uh, wow, this is good thing about computer. At least I can zoom it. But I think I... Can I draw it here? Yes, very good. I think I just can really. This is the foreign atom. Then I draw the box. The keyword is to don't make it a half circle. The keyword is make it like a full circle make sure it touch one another properly after that we label it so we say this as a foreign atom okay foreign atom okay this one you can label it lah. you can say this as a atom for example atom it's not so you can label it. It's good to label it lah, and tom. Okay, so now we already draw it. So we got no problem drawing the pure element and the alloy. Now we need to explain a bit. So what is the explanation that we can get? Okay, so how to um, explain this? So we use the keyword. Make sure you. I mean, uh, I mean you need. I uh, we need to use the keyword lah. So what is the keyword for the alloy? So we talk about the arrangement. I just write keyword lah. You all bina ayat sendiri ha. Huh? So we need to talk about the arrangement in the. We can say the arrangement first. 
the arrangement in orderly matter orderly orderly manner and the first keyword and then we talk the second keyword is slide against one another of course we say no la no slide that is the keyword no slide against one another no slide that is the keyword and, and arrangement what's this okay so they don't you don't just write arrangement i say the atom la the atom are arranged in an orderly manner so the atom eh, can slide la why i say no slide can slide the atom can slide against one another easily when the force is applied so that is the keyword huh? slide against one another and the arrangement orderly manner so this one we can say that pure matter the wait uh, just let me why the word so big one let's put it the smaller six let's use black color so maybe i can say the atom are arranged not in orderly manner and then i can say that um, the atom not easily slide walk like the atom not easily slide from each other let's say like, i want to add because um because there are foreign atom let's say lah like, if you want to add more word uh put here lah like. okay the atom are not arranged in an orderly manner the atom so you don't remember the whole sentence you just need to remember the uh the keyword uh, the keyword is either the the keyword only you need to know actually the concept two things only you know the arrangement how is the arrangement the second thing is the slide which one can slide which one cannot slide the third concept is why it slide it cannot slide why it cannot slide or why it can slide it can slide because there are no foreign atom it cannot slide easily because there are foreign atom which make it difficult to slide so three mark three concept three keyword okay so hope you can understand the concept rather than memorizing it so it will help you to do in your exam okay no question let's continue so we already learned about element i think the textbook is arranged very good right because the textbook start with periodic table then they teach about element then they teach about uh, compound molecule then after that they teach about uh, alloy and pure metal and now they want to teach about glass because after you learn periodic table you can learn anything already and everything start to make sense what is a glass so a glass of course is uh, made out of silica so silica come from where silica exists naturally from sand so you can uh well, your where your glass come from it actually come from sand pure silica metal liquefied at 1005 to form a glass so this is uh, silica i don't know lah maybe you need to melt it and then collect all the silica and let it dry again then you will get a beautiful glass what glass is this i think it's the what the jar for the chinese one <laughs> chinese medicine okay so of course you will get the glass um, glass is very good of course glass is easily to break but glass is very good especially it is chemically inert you can put acid you can put acid and then no one hole coming out from my hand because it is acid but when you put the glass uh acid to the glass the glass no no hole right you cannot corrode the glass 
So I like, so in chemical science, we like glass very much. We like to put all the acid, all the alkaline, even very, very strong acid we can put inside the glass or the explosion thing we put inside, make sure there's no oxygen. Uh. Then we close it properly. Then we know that the air cannot go into the, the glass. Sometimes we don't want the glass to go into the glass, they will melt it. They will put the chemical into it. Then they got a, a heat. Then you burn it. Then the glass will close. After close means totally no air can go in. Now you can do that. Fuse with table show the type of glass with the comp compound property. Okay, so this is um, fused with glass silica resistant to heat and chemically inert. Soda lime glass, low melting point, easily to shape. Boros borosilicate glass resistant to heat and chemical. Lead crystal glass, low melting point, high refraction index. High refraction index is like um, like the spectacle, I think. If you want to make a good lens, you need to have a high reflective index because I cannot see the my computer now. So I wear a glass with a high reflective index so I can see you. If I use uh, behind here got normal glass, I use the glass then I put on my spec nah, nothing happened because this glass is low reflective index this glass is high reflective index so you can see it okay let's do it bear with me for one more minute lah, huh? after one minute then we going to rest okay what is a ceramic okay so we already learned about glass and ceramic is almost the same but it is not the same Ceramic consists of non-metal. Ceramic consists of non-metal formed at high, a very high temperature. Ceramic is made from clay. So one is made from silica. Correct or not? We learned that glass is made from silica. And we learned that ceramic is formed from clay, which is the main component of clay is aluminium silicate. So they are the presence of aluminium in the uh, of course, it still got the silicate, but it got the aluminium. So, aluminium is a metal, correct or not? In the periodic table, metal, semi metal, and, uh, and non metal. I think it's what semi metal is it? Aluminium at, at, at the center. Ceramic can withstand high temperature and pressure. Ceramic is very hard and brittle, chameleon inert and rust. So it's a good insulator of heat. Many things like huh? why you want to do ceramic, it can resist high temperature, high pressure. Means you can press la. You can press it, it still resists. Hard, yes, it's hard. It's brittle. Brittle not so good la. Brittle means if you throw it, it will break. Okay? And chemically inert, so when you put your food on the ceramic plate, you can eat the food with its full taste. Um, I'm not sure whether you feel it. If you use a metal, metal, metal bowl, you actually when you eat, you feel different because maybe there are some chemical reaction, the metal and the food. So when you eat the food, when you put on the metal glass, actually it should taste different. So maybe then you eat is not that nice. That's why it is nice if you if you use a ceramic plate. Is it? This one I'm not sure lah, but I feel it is even nicer if you use a banana leaf, correct or not? Because the banana leaf got some chemical reaction that make the food taste nicer. I, that's why they put banana leaf on the on the plate. Does not rust, yeah. So ceramic is also a good insulator. And the reason I like to use ceramic because it's easy to wash. Right now, if you got wash, I always tell my family member, you want to eat, uh, you take the ceramic plate. Uh, I got some last time, I, my brother always like to use the plastic plate. You know the plastic plate, how hard to wash the oil? So difficult to wash the oil and I need to wash many, many times. But if you use this one, you only need to wash 
one time. Ah, if you don't, if you say, oh, I don't know, because you, I don't know ah, whether you got wash the plate or not. Ah, if you got wash the plate, you know that ceramic plate is so much easier to wash compared to plastic and, uh, and metal. Ah, don't use plastic, lah, ah, wash until people die. Okay, aluminum silica and ceramic dishes. Hmm. Okay, lah, so maybe we do, do these two questions. What is the main component in glass and ceramic? Okay, for glass is the silica. So I just write silica. How about ceramic? Aluminium silica. Aluminium silica. Or clay. Okay, but I prefer this name lah, aluminium silica. Even though the book answer is clay, but I will accept the answer like I don't know about your school teacher like anyway, silicate will be the better answer State 3 application So can you give example Application is the example like, of How to use the glass And the ceramic Apparatus Very good Laboratory Apparatus Some more Glass Transparent glass, okay. Transparent glass. Some more? One more last one. Ah. Making bark. Yeah. You want to use the glass to make but you don't want to use ceramic to make glass. Like, and then your light you cannot see. How about the ceramic? What is the function of ceramic? Tableway. Sorry? Tableware. Okay, so tableware, which means the the plate and the cup lah, huh, for the table one. And two more? For flooring. Flooring, yes. Flooring like the tiles. Usually the Chinese like to use the, um, the, the tiles, right? Uh, and uh, of course Malay also but I feel sometimes Malay they like to use wood some people prefer wood some people prefer the uh, ceramic tiles lastly mm, flower pot flower pot flower pot okay point to like okay pot p-o-t-s Okay, so if no question, we take uh, we take ten, and I see you back at nine fifty five. Okay. 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 See you and bye bye.